Hey, so I'm excited. I think there were some hidden messages in the Saturday Night Live monologue with Elon Musk, but not in like the conspiracy theory weird way. All right, so follow me on this. When he comes out, he says it's an honor to be hosting Saturday Night Live. And I mean that because sometimes I have to say that I mean that. I think that there was a message in there because one of the biggest complaints in the autistic community is not being heard, whether it's by family, by peers, uh, or just like Autism Awareness Month, no national coverage whatsoever, at least none that I could find. So not being heard is the biggest complaint that I've heard from the, from the autistic community and all the groups I belong to and all the people I know personally. So that's one. And then he goes on to talk about um, his human emulation algorithm. That's one way of putting it. I put it as the mask. Well, a lot of people in the autistic community put it as the mask. So what is that? There's an implicit bias with autism. Number one, we're seen as disabled individuals. Elon Musk, Albert Einstein, um, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Beethoven. Um, I mean, shoot, Aristotle, if you believe any of the journals. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that there are many diagnosed and undiagnosed persons throughout history that made an impact. In fact, Elon Musk named his company after one of them, Nikola Tesla, which there's still the, the, the big complaint that Edison pretty much stole him from us. But beside the point. Elon Musk, I feel, was talking about the mask or hinting at it. You see, with that implicit bias, I mean, as an employer, you want to hire somebody that's disabled unless you have to. Like, it, there's always been that bias, and we're getting better at it as a society in getting rid of the bias or at least accommodating for it. But autistic individuals not being seen, that's actually an advantage to us. I can blend into pretty much any situation I want to and adopt almost any mannerism. And there's plenty of autistic individuals like myself out there. And that's the complaint is we just don't want to have to keep hiding. And I mean, if you have to fake it, eventually you're going to slip. And that's why I tell people the best gift you can give an autist is the benefit of the doubt. But I applaud. If this was intentional, I absolutely applaud the mind of Elon Musk. Because the advocacy for autists from an autistic perspective, like psychology right now seems to be run by the numbers. I mean, I'm looking up these reports and all these studies and so on and so forth, but the conclusions seem to be by the numbers and not by the humanity. And I just wanted to point that out and explain a couple of the hidden messages that I think Elon Musk was putting into his Saturday Night Live monologue. What really stood out to me was right when he started, it was 50 seconds in. Like if you watch the YouTube from Saturday Night Live, the, the official YouTube channel, 50 seconds in. And if you watch his eyes right before that, it almost looks like he's looking at the clock, which, which is what makes me think this is intentional because that sounds like something an autist would do. <laughs> like somebody on the autism spectrum. It's something I would do and did in my book, um, which you none of you are probably ever going to hear about. And that's kind of the problem, which is why I love that he came out. We don't have a voice. Nobody's listening. doesn't matter how crazy your life is. And doesn't matter all the accomplishments you can have. Unless you are on the public stage and not, you're either a beautiful person, meaning non-broken, because that depresses people. Marketing is my background. Brown image development and all that. All because of psychology. I love it. But yeah, people don't want to see somebody broken. People don't want to see somebody depressed. <laughs> not, not generally, no. Um, unless it's just a truly incredible story. But even then, I mean, with autism, autism affects over 1% of the world population, according to every study so far. And yeah, I mean, I just love that he gave a voice to it and brought it out there because we needed, we need somebody to be some kind of spokesperson to say, hey, Autism Awareness Month, it was ignored. These people, they're still ignored. They're still looked at as statistics. And there's still the stigma of disability, which is why people like me have to hide and wear the mask and where our um, computer or human emulation algorithm. Believe it or not, I made a video on YouTube about um, really, really relating to data. And then I posted on the autistic forums and everybody else is just like, dude, that was my guy. 
And other ladies are like, uh uh seven of nine, what you talk about? And I just, I love that he gave us a voice.